For more debates, updates, and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. I know that you're very critical, not just of those who use fine tuning as an argument for God, but even for a multiverse, which which is a relatively popular, as I see it, uh, principle in physics. A lot of people seem to be, you know, engaging with that idea. But 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 you're quite critical of that, aren't you? Well, the multiverse is not a principle. Uh, it's a hypothesis, uh, and it's not a scientific hypothesis. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a little bit more complicated. The, the fine tuning argument is not the only argument that people bring up in favor of the multiverse, but it, it's certainly one of them. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of similar. So, so people are saying, well, we do observe these constants of nature. Uh, that's arguably correct. <laughs> uh, and then they say, well, we want to have an explanation for that. Like, why do the values have the values that they have? And that's fine with me. You know, that's what science is all about. You want, you want an explanation. Then they say, well, the, the multiverse is this explanation. And that's there where my problem begins because it doesn't explain anything in the, in the scientific sense. It doesn't explain anything. And, um, why do they think it explains something is because they've constructed a problem, which is unscientific to begin with, which, which is this, uh, fine tuning argument. There's just, as you, as you summarize it correctly, um, we, we can't change these constants. Therefore, we don't know anything about the probability of that ever happening. So there's nothing in need of an explanation. <laughs> 